Hey y'all, today, as promised, I am going to do a review of BJU Press Distance Learning. We used this last year for all three grades for third grade, sixth grade, no, third grade, fifth grade, and sixth grade. And we really enjoyed it. It helped streamline all of my work. It made it easier on mom. So of course I loved it. And the kids liked it too. They enjoyed their different teachers giving the lectures and then they would do their worksheets independently. So here is a review of third grade. And the first subject that we're gonna look at is math. Last year in second grade, they had a little helper named Patty and Matt. Matt and Patty were their helpers and those were two cartoon characters that followed along through the whole book and helped the students learn each lesson. This year in math, there's a different cartoon character helping them and a friend of mine told me who it was and I don't remember who they said. So I guess that'll be a surprise for us. Um, in the first couple of chapters, they go through a review of what they learned last year, and then they build on that. They had just introduced algebraic expressions, and they had just begun multiplication. They had introduced um, the concept of multiplication, so this year they're really going to dive in, nail down those multiplication facts, which is so fun for all of us. And it comes with a manipulatives packet. The younger grades get more and more hands-on stuff. This is heavy cardstock. Um, now it's heavier than cardstock. It's almost plastic. It's a coated kind of kind of paper. And they punch out these manipulatives and use them for a couple of lessons, some more than others. Sometimes they'll go back to them. These are the handouts, and this is mostly for extra work. I call it busy work, and we don't do busy work if it's not necessary. If it's something that the student needs to work on or practice or just really enjoys doing, then they can definitely do that. But just to finish it, just to say that you finished it, we don't bother with that. If they go through the lesson and they've got it, then we move on. Their tests in third grade are still on paper, so we have the test and mom's answer key. So they just have a chapter test in each chapter. But we have really enjoyed math. We came from Singapore math, which is what we have been using for the last six years. And it is a mental math, kind of a common core approach. I know in the homeschool community, that's a kind of an ugly word, but my son really took off with it and did well with it. And so we used that for years and years. My daughters didn't love it as much, but when we moved to Bob Jones, we went completely with the whole kit. We bought the whole curriculum and said, let's see how the math works. And it works really well for all three of their learning styles. So that's hard to come by. And we're going to continue math with all three grades this year. Next is English. And in their English, every other chapter is grammar. And the alternating chapters is writing or creative writing. And if you come across somebody that loves both let me know. If somebody loves both BJU's creative writing, their writing curriculum, and their grammar, I haven't found one yet. I kind of do. Um, we really didn't give the writing the effort and the attention that we should have last year, and the kids struggled with it. They did really great with the grammar. Grammar is my jam. I can diagram a sentence from here to the road, and I love it, although I've never needed to diagram a sentence as an adult. So, Anyway, they're really good about teaching the parts of speech and then the alternating chapters, like I said, is creative writing. And honestly, I was lazy last year. It's a lot of work to proofread all of their work. And I just thought, oh, okay, it's fine, they got it. And I realized mm, we need to focus on that this year. So we're really gonna be focusing on the writing side and kind of review over the grammar because they really do have it down now since we spent so much time on that. So stay tuned and I'll let you know what I think about the writing program. I kind of like both. I think they do a good job with the writing and with the grammar. Here is some student handouts and they have the test once again and the answer key for third grade English. 
And I explained in our unboxing video that my third grader is going back to the second grade book in spelling. She had a lot of trouble with it and I learned my lesson with my son who went way back when we missed just some of those fundamentals. And he was struggling in spelling for years until we just went back and met him where he was. And now he's getting it and he's thriving and doing well. So I didn't want the same thing to happen my, to my daughter. She was really struggling, especially towards the end of last year. And I said, hey, no problem. We'll just do it over. Spelling in BJU ends at sixth grade. If, you know, you're one grade behind or uh, ahead, it really doesn't make that big of a difference. You can always make it up. And typically once they get it and get some momentum, then they kind of zoom back to where they're supposed to be or where you would like them to be. So as homeschoolers, we know that being ahead or being behind is all relative and it kind of makes us all cringe whenever we hear that because they're not all in the same race. Here is some handouts for spelling. Um, I don't really know what's in here. I don't, did we do handouts for spelling last year? Yeah. I really like how they approach their list. They have a list and it will have a common, um, it'll have a pattern. So all of these words have the AR and the OR, like in farm or in sports. And so they do one worksheet where they go through and write the words why they're spelled that way and divide them up. Another word study. And so the next day they have another worksheet where they're rewriting their spelling words. And then the next day they have proofreading so they can see the ones that are misspelled out of their spelling list. They find the misspelled words. And then there's always a dictionary where they're learning where the words fit in the dictionary or some kind of dictionary skill that is tied into that particular spelling list. So then after they do four worksheets on the list and they're rewriting the list after they're introduced to it, they do at least one practice test. And then the last day, which could be Friday, if you're doing a five day school week, then they have their final test. And my rule is if you get 80% or better, you can move on and that's on any test. And if you get 79 or less, it's a do-over because that means you didn't learn it. So if they miss a couple of spelling words, then I'll have them write it five times or 10 times. But if they really bomb the whole list, then we just go over and do it again. Now we have handwriting. So they learned the letters in cursive last year and this year they're practicing and they're practicing with smaller lines and the dotted lines. Everything's a little bit tighter and neater this year and they have some copy work to do and they just continue, continue to practice. There's some extra handwriting worksheets and once again, I don't remember handwriting worksheets. Do y'all? There were. There was handwriting worksheets? No. There was handwriting worksheets. There were some grammar. This is a little chapter book that came in her kit. I think it goes with reading. I looked back um, the other day and I figured it out. Now I'm gonna have to look back again because I forgot. But it's a cute little book and at whatever point they're supposed to on their dashboard online, it will say, grab your book and read pages such and such to such and such. I mentioned that in the unboxing too. We do the distance learning. We have excellent internet. We can stream five computers at once and thank goodness we can because they can all do their schoolwork at the same time. Um, if you don't have high-speed internet or if you don't have streaming capabilities like that and you have multiple children, then I definitely recommend the DVDs. It's a little bit of extra work. You have to go get the DVD, put it in, and you return them at the end of the school year. So you keep the box that they come in. So it's an extra step. But if I didn't have the high-speed internet capability at my home, I would do the DVDs. I would definitely try those out. We also have reading and there's two books, A and B for each semester. And these have great little stories in there, little picture stories. Most of them are pretty interesting. I have read through them with the kids before seems like a lot of the stories that they read is a lot of historical fiction and very interesting and kid-minded. Like it's about a child who's in a boat and, you know, they go through the story of a war or any part of history. So they also have the work text. It's like their workbook. And this is basically reading comprehension. They also have these neat little things called book links. And it comes with a little chapter book. And inside this folder 
It has, actually, let me go ahead and open it up for y'all to see. So here is your little chapter book. Ooh, that's tiny words for third grade. And it comes with this folder that keeps everything. You could keep this in a file or you could keep this in a bookshelf. And this workbook, every so many pages they read, then they come to one or two worksheet pages that go along with the chapter book here. There's not a test with the BJ book links. So it's just kind of a fun break for the kids. They enjoy it. It also includes some fun hands-on activities. There might be a craft or they'll have a recipe. Here is another BJ book link, The Case of the Dog Napped Cat. That looks fun. And last we have Bible Truths. It comes with a workbook. They watch and listen to the lecture to their teacher. They do a lesson and it'll be on a specific Bible story. It usually coordinates with the calendar. So the Christmas story is around Christmas. The Easter story is around Easter, except for us because we're never on schedule. And then they also have these manipulatives and it's those coded cardstock, really sturdy where they punch out or cut out and they may glue something like a timeline that they're going to refer back to often. They have the student handout as well as the test and answer keys. This year she has two chapter books. That's one, two, three, four, five chapter books that I can see right off the bat. So third grade, stepping it up. This one is a book, Escape, um, about a small boy in Ethiopia where his dad is a pastor. He hunts for treasures. And this is peanut butter friends in a chop suey world. That looks cute. As far as third grade, we do not have a science or a history curriculum. And in the previous video, I did mention that we were going to be doing those two subjects at our new co-op. And we will be trying that out for the first year this time. What would I change? I a lot of people think that it's a lot of work. It's a full seven subjects if you add the science and the history. I don't think that it's too much work. We usually get our school work done between nine and we're usually done at about one o'clock unless my third grader is dilly-dallying. She can drag this out all day and not pay attention and not focus. But if they sit down and do the work and we take a couple of breaks and go play outside, but if they just sit down and focus, then you really can knock out a lot of work and get done a lot in one day in a short amount of time. And then they have the rest of the day to play or go to dance class or go to golf lessons or whatever else you have for the day. I hope you enjoyed this review of third grade BJU Press Distance Learning. Please give me a thumbs up. If I helped answer any questions for you, please subscribe. I will have lots of more videos just like this talking about homeschooling. It's one of my favorite things to talk about. Comment down below if you have any questions uh, specifically about this curriculum or if you have a question about any other curriculum. We've probably tried it, we've probably used it, and I probably have an opinion on it. So I will see you guys later. Bye-bye.